Welcome, sweet friends. It's Ashley Clark with Earthkeeper Yoga, and I'm here in Birmingham, Alabama. It's a beautiful day, and it's a beautiful time for this class offering that I have for you today. So I do want to let you know before we get started that my in-person and online Zoom schedule are really scaled back right now. I think I'm only teaching three or four times a week each week just during these winter months. It's a time when we should be going inward, nourishing ourselves, and we're a mammal just like other mammals who are really just chilling out right now. So it's okay to scale back and to lean into whatever you need that allows you to feel supported and nourished during this time. So I do want to let you know for this class, I will be using blocks and I will be using a strap. It's been a while since I've offered something using a yoga strap. So if you don't have a yoga strap, it's okay. I will definitely offer modifications throughout the practice that will make this class still accessible to you. If you had a belt, a long belt, or a piece of webbing, or anything thick, you wouldn't want it to be like a thin piece of string or a shoelace, but you definitely, if it was, a, if it was at least an inch or more thick, it would do just fine. All right, so I do also have my trusty blanket. I love sitting on my blanket, and I love having it available to put under my knees. So grab what you need, and I'll meet you right here on the mat. actually going to start on our backs. So go ahead and come down onto your back. And we're going to let the knees stay bent for just a moment. Go ahead and take up some space with your shoulders against the mat. Go ahead and see if you can just let the mat take your weight. Maybe give yourself a nice big deep inhale through the nose and then sigh it out through the mouth. And feel free to do that a couple of times if it'll help you just come to be right here, right now. And notice the placement of the back of your head. So notice if you're tilting your nose up. Maybe you can bring the chin in just a little bit to let the spine be just a little bit more neutral against your mat. So as you rest in here, let's go ahead and send some awareness to the breath and getting out of our heads and into our bodies. So just go ahead and start to take those deep, long breaths that start low in the belly, come all the way up to the collarbones. Cresting just like a wave and then receding back down, low belly, pressing that breath all the way out. And give yourself two more of those. Beautiful. Take an inhale, reach the arms up over your head, and extend the legs long down your mat. Go ahead and settle the shoulders so there'll be a little natural bend in the elbows. We're going to go ahead and start to walk those feet over to the right. So keep the hips where they are. Just walk the feet over. We're not doing anything with the upper body yet. And maybe those ankles cross. So then let's take an inhale, lift the upper body. So use some of your weight here and then, or your strength rather, and then move over using the exhale to settle back down. See if you can hook your thumbs above your head and then let that left elbow really release down towards the floor. I'm breathing in here. Noticing the position of the head and seeing if that helps relax through the jaw. And give it one more breath. Okay. 
Keep the fingers looped to, or the thumbs uh, looped together. Take an inhale, lift the upper body. And then exhale, bring it back to center. Go ahead and lower back down. Release everything. We'll uncross those heels. Start to walk them through center. And then we'll walk them all the way over to the left, finding your spot, your edge. Maybe the heels cross. Check that you feel nice and secure in the low back. No pressure there. And then we'll take an inhale to lift up the upper body. Exhale to move it over and then settle back in. Release to that right elbow. Check the position of your head. Big deep breaths, you've got one more. All right, thumbs still looped together. Inhale, lift the upper body, moving back towards center, and then exhale to release back down. Uncross those heels, walk the feet back towards center, and then bring the knees into the chest as the hands come down. Fingers unlace, pulling the knees towards your chest. Give yourself just a little side-to-side -side sway, massaging the low back here. Even noticing the tilt of the head here. All right. You can take those hands right below the bottom of the back of your thigh there. And then we can rock and roll up. We're going to rock and roll all the way into our table. Setting those wrists up under shoulders, knees under hips. So we're going to do this little warm up a little differently. Go ahead and curl your toes. And then I'm just going to ask you to keep that length through the spine, neutral spine, and go ahead and rock forward and back. So you'll feel some tension on the wrists and then some tension pushing through the bottoms of your feet. Just moving forward and back, keeping the spine long. Connecting that to breath. Inhales move you forward. Exhales to move you back. Maybe you start to sink a little bit deeper when you go back. Maybe you find yourself being able to reach forward just a little bit more. And give it one more. Go ahead and do that inhale forward. And then exhale, keep those toes curled if you can. Sink the hips back. And you're going to come down to elbows. Let your hands come into prayer together. You might even interlace the fingers where it, you're clasping your hands around. Like you could do that. Here's the church thing. Here's the steeple. But don't do the steeple part. And just keep your wrists together. Start to shake the wrists. Start to make little circles with the wrists. I don't know if that analogy landed at all, but it was the closest I could come to in the moment. So just shaking out the wrists. If this gets too much for the feet, release the toes back to the mat. All right. Unlace the fingertips. Let the forearms stay on the mat. Reach the palms long in front. And then you're going to uncurl the toes. Go ahead and sit the hips all the way back. Find those prayer hands again and let the thumbs come towards the nape of your neck as the brow reaches down towards the mat. Breathe into the upper back body here. Take an inhale, moving through this position back into your table and curling your toes to find your down dog. Staying with those long breaths in and out, starting to pedal through the feet. Keep 
Keeping as big of a bend in the knees as you need to keep the hips back and weight out of the shoulders. And see if you can release the head here. Gaze towards the knees if the eyes are open. And give it one more breath. Let's go ahead and walk up to the top of the mat. We'll meet there in a forward fold. Torso rolls over those thighs. Head hangs heavy. Inhale halfway, finding that long spine. Reach the crown away. And then an exhale, slow release down towards the mat. Inhale down low. And exhale, slow rise. You're coming into your mountain pose. Take a moment here just for yourself to feel centered and grounded right here at the top of your mat. And then inhale those arms up over the head. Gaze stays forward. You're going to hook those thumbs once again. So settle into the feet. Settle the shoulders. And then tuck that tailbone in just a little bit. Take an inhale. And then exhale, reach over to the right. Noticing any tension that builds up in the back of the neck. Breathe here. One more breath. Take an inhale. And then exhale. Let's move through center all the way over to the left. Using the end of the breath to settle into this side. Last one. Inhale, back through center, releasing the thumbs. Exhale, forward fold. You can give yourself a little side-to-side -side sway here. You can even shake out the head. Give it one more breath. All right. From here, step it back. Find down dog. Feel free to keep some movement there with the breath if that feels nice. We're going to take an inhale and lift this right leg, but we're going to keep the foot flexed and we're going to keep the hips square. So you're not lifting that right leg up towards the sky. Now see what's going on with that left heel. Can you press it towards the back of the mat? Breathe. Inhale. Bring that knee to nose. Go ahead and step that right foot through. You're in this low lunge. And then you're going to lower this left knee, left top of the foot. Take an inhale, press into the right leg. Bring yourself to kneeling crescent. Reset that heel under the knee. Pressing into that left knee, engaging through the pelvis, through the glutes. Give it a breath. Inhale to lower the hands. Energy into the ball of the left foot to lift the hips coming into a forward fold. Let those torso, the torso rest on the thighs. Put a big bend in the knees. And on your next breath, you're going to come right into chair. So take an inhale. And then exhale, make your way into your chair. Long spine, think about the back of your head. So the chin's down towards the chest. Inhale, forward fold. Exhale, down dog. In through the nose, out through the mouth, right here. One 
one more breath. Take an inhale, lift the left leg just like you did the right. So flexing the foot, pressing the right heel towards the back of your mat and keeping those hips square. Breathe here, three breaths. Inhale, knee to nose, stepping that left foot through, low lunge. Lowering that right knee, right top of the foot. Inhaling to come to that kneeling crescent, resetting that knee and heel if you need to, and then finding all of those things to ripple up your strength all the way to the fingertips right here. See if you can open through the shoulders just a bit. Inhale. Exhale, bringing the hands down, curling those right toes to lift the hips. Energy into the ball of the right foot. We're in our forward fold. Big bend in the knees, torso staying on those thighs. Inhale here. Exhale into your chair. Long spine, reaching the crown up, chin stays back. Inhale, forward fold. Exhale, sorry I didn't cue that right, but go ahead and step back into your down dog. Go ahead and use a breath cycle to settle into a plank. Keep the booty down, long spine. Inhale, exhale, lowering all the way down to the mat. And belly comes to the mat, tops of the feet come to the mat. And then you're going to take these hands and you're going to slide them back so that your elbows come to 90 degrees. Nose is pointed down towards the floor. Keep the low bo body relaxed. Take an inhale and then exhale to lift up through the top of your head. Squeeze those elbows towards one another, bringing the shoulder blades closer together. Breathe one more breath. Inhale. Lower the head. Bring the palms back by the shoulders and then press it back. We're going to go into a child's pose, releasing through the low back. Let the brow come all the way down to the mat. And then take those hands those arms and reach them down by your feet. Let the shoulders drop down towards the floor. Breathing into the back body. Give it one more breath. Go ahead and reach those hands back up over your head and push up on from your legs. You're going to bring yourself all the way forward. Those hands stay under the shoulders, but let those hips sink down towards the floor, finding your up dog here. Inhale. Exhale, lowering all the way down to your mat. Y'all are going to bring your hands up above your head. Brow was reaching down towards the floor. Kick this right knee up to the right, even with the hip. And then walk to the elbows under the shoulders. Then lift the crown of the head up. Keep the chin in towards the chest. You'll find a nice stretch to that left side of your torso. Pressing the elbows in, maybe squeezing them towards one another. Give it one more breath. See if you can release the low back body here, the hips, the glutes. Curl those left toes. You're going to press into elbows and the left toes to bring that right knee under the right hip and then come to hands. Here we are. Take an inhale to lift this left leg and then you're going to bend that left knee. Give yourself three pulses up towards the sky. 
So just lifting the sole of the foot up towards the sky. Extend the leg long behind you. Take an inhale and then go ahead and step it through. Curl your right toes. You're in a low lunge. We're going to take an inhale, come up, and then go right into warrior two. So just opening that right heel in towards center. Hips are open. <clears throat> Shoulders over hips. So we're going to get really flowy here. We're going to inhale into reverse warrior. And then exhale into a side angle. Inhaling into reverse warrior. Exhaling into side angle. Let the breath guide your movement. Lunging in just a little bit more to that left knee if you can. Give yourself one more round. Let's meet inside angle. There you go, reaching those fingertips over to the left. Rolling this right shoulder open, gaze goes towards the sky, lunging into that left knee, about left leg rather. Hold it one more breath. Go ahead and bring that right hand down, spin onto the ball of that right foot, plant the left hand, let's go back into down dog. In through the nose, out through the mouth. And give it one more breath. Use your next breath cycle to meet me in your plank, using the exhale to settle into the posture fully. We'll take an inhale. Exhale, lower all the way down. Releasing the belly and the tops of the feet to the mat. Let's send those hands up over our head, just like we did just a second ago. And then we'll lift this left knee up towards the left hip. Go ahead and walk back so that those elbows come under the shoulders. Ripple through the crown of your head to reach up towards the sky. Thinking about keeping the chin in towards the chest, here's that stretch to the right side of the torso. But notice any tension in the low body. See if you can release that outer right glute. Last breath. So curl those right toes, lift up, and then bring that left knee under the left hip. Find hands. Lift the right leg up behind you, and then bend the right knee. Pulse three times. Reaching the crown of the head. Extend the leg long. Take an inhale, and then bring that knee up. Curl your left toes, low lunge. Take an inhale, and as you come from this low lunge, you're going to move right into your warrior two. <clears throat> All right, here's our flow. We'll inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Move through. Find any place. If there's somewhere you want to pause, as always, do it. We'll be moving through this six or seven times, so you have plenty of time if you want to find a pause. And explore what's there and how it feels a little bit deeper each round. So your next side angle holds. 
wherever you are. Staying strong through that right elbow to forearm, reaching the left fingertips away. Gaze goes up towards the sky, release the back of the neck. Hold it two more breaths. Lower that left hand down to the mat, left ball of the foot, right hand plants. Here we are, down dog. There's that breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Inhale to meet me in your next plank, long spine. You can always lower the knees here. Let's move through chaturanga into an up dog, releasing through the low bi back body, reaching the crown of the head up, chin is in, strong arms. And last breath. Knees come to the mat, hips go back, compensating for that in child's pose. Brow comes to the mat, let those arms come long on either side of your legs. Shoulders rest down towards the floor. Inhale those arms back up over your head. Let's move into table. Curl toes, lift hips, down dog. Release, so give yourself a body scan in this down dog. Try not to consider it just a transient pose, but see and check in with where you are right here in this posture. Be right here, take one more breath. We're gonna walk hands and feet towards one another. We'll meet in the center of our mat in a forward fold. Take an inhale halfway, find a long spine. And then exhale, release down towards the earth. Inhale down low. And exhale, slow rise, coming up in a way that serves. Here we are in our mountain posture. Give yourself two breaths, settle in. Take an inhale, reach the arms and the gaze up over the head. And then exhale, bring the chin down towards the chest, palms come in front of the heart in prayer, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Release the exhale as deep as you can. Go ahead and turn to either side, it does not matter which one, so that you can spread the legs wide down your mat, long edge of the mat. And then you're going to make sure that you have your knees not locked. You're going to have most of the weight on the um, balls of your feet so that you can bring the heels in just a little bit. Keep those hands at the heart. Take an inhale, squat down, find your goddess legs. Think about really tucking the tailbone in here. And then inhale to lift the arms up over the head. Let those th thumbs interlace again. Hold here. You've got two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale, start to straighten the legs. Hands come long. Let's come into a forward fold. Reset those toes in front of the heels long into the mat. So in other words, the heels aren't in and the, and the balls of the feet out. Breathe here, two more breaths. Release the head. All right. 
From here, you're going to take your left toes and point them towards either the front or the back of your mat, depending on which way you are. And then let that lunge be long. So the hands are still on the floor, but you've got a lunge in the legs. So the knee is over that left heel. Walk your hands forward and over to the left. Sink down here, releasing the upper body. Notice if you just found tension in the jaw. Walk the hands back towards center just a bit to straighten through that left leg. Left toes back towards the long edge of the mat. Here we go, we're walking over to the right. Right toes towards top or back edge, lunging into that right leg. Finding the sink through the hips before you worry about the upper body. And then walk those hands forward over to the right just a bit. Sink the upper body down. And give it one more breath. We'll walk those hands back, start to spin on the heel of that right foot. We're back in a wide leg forward fold in the center. Big inhale in, exhale to release fully into this posture. One more breath. And then we'll find a bend in those knees, inhaling here. Exhale, slow rise. You can bring the palms back in front of the heart in prayer. Shimmy those feet back together. And we're going to come back facing the top of the mat, but still in the center. <clears throat> All right, we're going to do one thing that's not really yoga, but I want to get a good calf stretch in. So while you're in this posture, just bring your right foot forward. Let the heel be on the mat. Flex the foot, reach the toes up towards the sky. And then take an inhale. Slowly send the hips back just a little bit until you start to feel that stretch through the back of the leg. You might make it halfway. You may not. That's fine. Just keep the foot flexed. And give it one more breath. Inhale. And then exhale to rise up. Reset that right foot, find your center, give yourself a breath. And then we'll step this left foot forward, and it's not even far, it's just a little bit. Heel is on the mat, foot is flexed, toes up towards the sky. Take an inhale, and then exhale, start to fold forward, finding that stretch through the back of the leg. Keeping a long spine here. Notice if you've locked that right knee. Give it one more breath. Inhale. And exhale to rise. Coming back to center. Give yourself a breath. We'll take an inhale, arms and gaze lift. Exhale, forward fold. Hands go forward, feet go back, down dog. And be right here, two more breaths. Inhale into your plank. Use the next two breath cycles to move through to chaturanga into your up dog, settling in, releasing through the hips. Let's lower those knees, come into table. Reach through the crown of the head, and then go ahead and give yourself a couple of rounds of cat-cow. Just getting 
through that spine, spreading out the shoulder blades. Just one more round. Back to a neutral spine, curl toes, lift hips, down dog. All right, take an inhale, lift the left leg. You can lift it as far up towards the sky as feels good this time. You can bend the knee, circle the ankle, point and flex the foot. Awareness to that right heel, is it making it to the mat? Give it one more breath. Straighten the leg, take an inhale, bring knee to nose, step this left foot through. Right heel in towards center. We're going to rise up into warrior two. And then we're going to inhale to lift the arms up over the head. Gaze follows. Exhale, reach those arms behind your back. See if you can clasp those thumbs together here. Pressing the fingertips down towards the floor, opening through the heart. Go ahead and twist the upper body just a little bit towards that left knee. And then take an inhale. Exhale, forward fold inside of that left leg, reaching the fingertips up for humble warrior. Last breath. Lowering the palms down, pressing into that left foot, using your strength to come back up. Release through the arms, bring them into a T. Straighten through that left leg. I'm going to shorten my stance just a little bit. So our challenge pose for the day is not balance. It's a variation of triangle. So what you're going to do for this triangle, only if you feel up to the challenge, is you're going to bring your weight to the heel of the left foot, so make any changes that you need in your stride to make that happen. Toes lift off the floor. Reach the left fingertips forward and down, seeing if you can reach for your toes or maybe to your shin. And then open that right shoulder up towards the sky, or excuse me, towards your back. Whole foot lowers, bend that left knee. Make your way back into warrior two for two breaths. We'll windmill our hands back down, find down dog. In through the nose, out through the mouth. So if you can't bring your thumbs together, you could have used a strap. I neglected to cue that. All right, here we go. Nice big inhale, right leg lifts. It gets all the same thing. So bending the knee, opening the hip. Noticing that left heel, if it's down at the mat or not. Either way is OK. Straightening the leg, taking an inhale, bringing knee to nose, stepping that right foot through, bringing that left heel in towards center. Here we go. Inhale, warrior two. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, reach them down behind your back. See if thumbs can connect. If they can't, use a strap or just point the fingers towards the floor concentrating on opening through the shoulder blades. Twist the heart just a little bit more towards that right knee. Take an inhale and then exhale to forward fold inside of the thigh. Hands reach away towards the shoulder blades. One 
Last breath. Lower the hands down towards the hips, rise through the upper body, and then bring those hands into the T. This is where we're going to come onto the heel of that right foot, and then move the fingertips forward and down, finding this variation of triangle only if it serves today. Lowering the foot, bending through the right knee. We're back into warrior two for two breaths. Windmilling the hands down, making your way back into down dog. So this is the last down dog of the class. You've got three breaths here. Stay connected. Inhale through your plank. Exhaling through chaturanga. And then using that next breath cycle to settle into your up dog. Chin stays in. Crown lifts towards the sky. Strong through the arms. Releasing the low back body. Knees come to the mat, hips go back. Find that variation of child's pose that lets the arms reach long down the legs. Releasing the shoulders all the way down to the mat. Give it one more breath. Reach the arms all the way over the head, back just like they were. And we're going to do that same thing that we started the class with, where we slimmed the hips all the way forward and made our way back into up dog. You can make this a little gentler of a version. And then let those elbows stay in close to the ribs as you lower yourself all the way back down. Nose is down towards the mat. Now send those arms long down your body just like we've been doing the whole class in child's pose. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, lift the palms and the feet up towards the sky, making your way into this version of bow. If you're really feeling it and you want to bend those knees and reach back for ankles, go right ahead. Keep a long spine, reaching the crown away. Notice if you're gritting your teeth. Inhale. Exhale to lower either of your cheekbones can come to the mat. Rest fully in, shoulders reach down towards the mat. Completely release in. And give it one more breath right here. Reset your nose down towards the mat. So the gaze follows down towards the mat. We're going to do that one more round. We held it five breaths. Here we go, nice big inhale, exhale to lift. And if it's too much to do both, keep the legs down, lift the arms. Notice the breath in the belly. Inhale. Exhale, lowering down with control. The opposite cheek gets the mat this time, letting the shoulders roll down all the way to the floor. One more breath.
You can bring those palms under the shoulders. You can keep the head relaxed, however it is. Go ahead and bend your knees, soles of the feet up towards the sky. Give yourself some back window windshield wipers. And I'll let you know that the next thing is your six or seven breaths, whatever you choose, however you spend to choose that, we'll eventually all meet up on our backs for Shavasana, unless you want to throw your legs up the wall for Shavasana. So just take these next few breaths just for you. So go ahead and settle into whatever feels right for this Shavasana for you today. Notice everything just being supported by the mat. Give yourself one last nice big deep inhale through the nose, sigh it out through the mouth, and rest. And go ahead and bring some awareness back to this space that we have created together. And allow yourself to spend just a moment wiggling your fingers and your toes, keeping everything else relaxed and at ease. Move that awareness into your wrists and your ankles. Reach your arms up over your head and just give yourself a full body stretch here, reaching the fingertips, pointing the toes. And then roll on to one side or the other when you're ready. Bring those knees up towards your navel. Tuck your chin into your chest. Be here for just another moment.
And then as you're ready, you can make your way back up into a comfortable seat. We'll meet there together with hands at the heart, chin bowed down towards chest. So I was just introduced to this amazing woman. I listened to a podcast of hers last night on Sounds True. Her name is Acharya Shunya, and she has this quote, and it's very simple, it's very succinct, and it's very hard to follow. <clears throat> it says, a well-lived day is medicine unto itself. A well-lived day is medicine unto itself. I encourage you and I encourage myself and we can encourage each other to each try to strive to have a well-lived day. And thank you for letting this yoga class be a part of that for you. Gratitude for practicing with me today. Namaste.